Hey everyone, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Alright, let's talk about T-Mobile Home Internet and a new update they have just done that really helps you understand what kind of signal you get and uh, help you improve it as well as a couple other features I'll talk about here as well. So this is on their T-Mobile Home Internet app. Now I personally have an Android phone but uh, I believe it's the same thing for Apple devices as well. And it lets you see some more details as far as um, the metrics which if you've looked into them yourself you might see all these different numbers there's signal strength, there's signal quality, there's a signal to noise ratio there's all these other numbers and you know if you're not familiar with cellular stuff it might just be a jumble of numbers and very confusing to you so now they're actually starting to help you understand in layman's term hey is this good? is it bad signal? you know what do I need to do to improve it? so we'll go through that and, and show you that and what I'll say is that it's a little bit confusing because the update doesn't always get pushed to your phone right away. So the first thing I would tell you to do is go into, if you have an Android phone, go to Google Play Store and type in T-Mobile Home Internet app, which perhaps you already have on your phone. But it will then show you, you know, here for mine it says uninstall and open. But if you don't have uh, the latest update, it will instead say update. And so obviously click that button, get your app updated to the latest one, and that is what you need to do to have all of these features. All right, so this latest one, I'm going to go ahead and open it up here. And you'll see now I am connected to my Nokia gateway here. This um, same feature set applies to the Arcadian one, which is actually kind of right here. It's a little bit uh, emperor without clothes right now. But um, in here there are actually one feature I believe that is only for the Nokia and I'll talk about that here in a second but otherwise I think the same applies to either of these two gateways these are their 5G gateways there is a new one um, that a few people a handful of people have gotten um, but this is an app update so I think the same stuff applies so in here um, the first thing that you'll see is that the internet line number your phone number that um, you know, if you log in online, it asks you, hey, what's your phone number? If you're trying to message them on Facebook, they made that more prominent here, right here on the home page. At the bottom, it has internet line number, and that is obviously your phone number for your gateway. And you can use that for things like uh, the um, T-Mobile Tuesdays um, deals that you can get. Um, so let's go in here to network. And now I have my Wi-Fi network turned off on the Nokia. And so nothing shows up here. But if you had it on by default, you could click on it or I can click the plus sign here. And the one thing they added that was unique to the Nokia is right here now this hidden toggle. So this is, means that you can either hide or unhide the SSID. It doesn't mean that the Wi-Fi is turned off. It just means that you are you have to know what the name is. So for example, if you called it Nader Tater and you open up your phone, you're not going to see Nader Tater listed as a Wi-Fi network but if you added it and typed it in Nader Tater it would find it so um, that is a new feature they added obviously fairly minor but uh, for some of you guys that might be uh, helpful so now if we go to the more settings and we go here to the advanced cellular metrics this is where you typically go in there and look for what kind of cell signal you are getting one caveat here I'm in my basement and therefore I do not get great signal but um, the same information still applies. So at first glance, it looks like it's the same information, but the feature they added is if you click on it. So if you click on any one of these um, values, it gives you a um, you know a rundown of what it means and a status, which I think, I forget what it goes from, but it's basically from poor to excellent rating scale to give you an indicator of what um, it is. So I can go here to like RSSI. So it tells you, hey, this is your received signal strength indicator. And it tells you, you know, what the typical ranges are, as well as, you know, what is ideal and good. And you can see for me, it's excellent. I actually have a cell booster uh, behind the camera about 15 or 20 feet. So that's why I have excellent signal strength because it's boosting it. But if you look at some of my other values like RSRQ, which is the quality, it's actually not great. Uh, in fact, it says poor here right now. And um, if I go in here as well to uh, my signal to noise ratio, that's also poor. So this is 
you know, it is one of the downsides of a cell booster is that it amplifies both the signal and the noise. And um, obviously, if you have a lot of noise, well, you're just amplifying more noise. So that's where external antennas uh, do help better than boosters. But um, I had no signal down here before without the booster. So this is an improvement uh, nonetheless. So uh, in here as well, I can go to 5G. And you can see I get the same stuff on 5G. I think on the band itself, it also tells you information. And you can see N71 band is 600 megahertz. And it also tells you that um, that's the extended range. And then it says the N41 band, which is the 5G ultra capacity, according to T-Mobile marketing speak. That's a 2.5 gigahertz frequency out there. So it gives you some more information here that is kind of nice. And again, here on the 4G one, it, it tells you all the different frequencies. So if you're really curious about what frequencies, if you're trying to get a cell booster or an antenna or whatever, um, right now it is now all laid out here in the app, which is very nice versus having to go find it online. And I think that's the main updates. It does say, if I even if I go in here to the notes, you can see here it tells you what some other things it did. We talked about the cell metrics we talked about the um, line number being more prominent uh, oh it gives you this option to do an app feedback so if you're having a lot of problems you can now give feedback on the app inside the app using that more tab the hidden wi-fi network we talked about and then um, it does have this new support content which gives you some more videos uh, which i would encourage you not to watch instead watch all of my videos on the native Tater channel like and subscribe of course um, but then there's also some other bug fixes and um, stability improvements that they do to the app. I, I will tell you, it started off very, very buggy. In fact, I avoided the app altogether in the start because it would just say not connected and have me like resync it or whatnot. So it does seem to be better, but this doesn't fix any of your concerns if you're trying to get uh, port forwarding, uh, static IP, or if you're trying to get a open net type for gaming. This doesn't fix any of that stuff. That is really tied more to T-Mobile CG NAT network. Um, and there's only a few workarounds. But I'll cover some more of those on my channel in the future. So stay tuned and see some more of those.